for SEO. And if you are a business owner, you are doing SEO on your website, you are leveraging on content marketing, trying to drive organic traffic on your website. Google Search Console is a tool you will use to track all those activities and performance. In this video, I will be talking about how you can invite users to your Google Search Console dashboard. If you hire a, an SEO specialist now or you hire a content marketing person and you want to see the effectiveness of the content, you want them to see the effectiveness or the impact of the content they are writing or the impact of the SEO activities they are doing, you need to give them access to see that. You need to give them access to Google Search Console and that's what I'll be covering in this video. Google Search Console is a powerful tool that you need as a business owner. All you need to do is to connect Google Search Console to your website. I have several videos on how you can connect Google Search Console on your website and I'm going to be linking it to this video. So this is Google Search Console. Can you see in the next, like I said earlier, in the last 28 days, it has, I've been able to get 12,000, over 12,000 total impressions and over 361. I've had a total of 361 clicks to this website, basically. So, like I said, these are the countries I'm getting clicks. Can you see the impressions from impressions the website is getting, the total clicks from each country that I'm getting? If you go to queries, yeah, you see what people are typing on Google that your website are showing for that is the content if you start putting out content you start seeing things queries that your website is coming up for and that are the queries that are leading to clicks so this is a powerful tool you need to connect with your website for you to see your organic organic marketing effort performance for you to track it so how can you give access to a content marketing person how can you give access to a to an seo strategist that you hired so the first thing you need to do is to scroll down to this place on this left side of the of google search console scroll down and come to settings a lot of things happen under settings right when you come to settings you see users and permissions users and permissions click on the users and permission then you add new users before you add anybody to your google search console you need their email address so you 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 should get the email address of the seo specialist you want to hire or the content marketing person you want to hire you need their email address so you click on add email address then you put in their email address there once you put in their email address right so you determine the kind of permission you want to give them. Do you want to give them full permission? It means they have access. Do you want to give them owner's permission? Don't give them, or if you are hiring someone, don't give them owner's permission. You are the owner of the business. So don't give them owner's permission. So we have the kind of permission you can give them is owner, full, restricted. Don't also give them restricted permission because it will limit the kind of things they will have access to and they need to have access to certain things to be able to work effectively and track performance of their activity. So I would suggest that you give them full permission. Then once you click on add, once you click on add, it will invite them. Can you see? All they need to do is to go to their email. If I refresh this email now, I'm going to see the invite. I'm going to see the invite. They are going to see the invite and that that's they're going to see the invite and that's all if you are here to subscribe to my youtube channel i will encourage you to do that like this video share this video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will see you in the next video